Yeah, Good morning. Right. I'm now joined with Bo Fontenot with the Farm Service Agency. We're talking about all things that you need to know within the farming industry and agriculture industry, that is, and how you can find more information. All right. So good morning, Bo. Thanks morning. for joining us. How are you this morning? Good, good. All right, so we've kind of talked about this before, but ARC PLC, what's the latest with that? Right, ARC PLC is our, I want to say our flagship program, but basically the one we're known for the most. Mm -hmm. uh, ARC PLC is Agricultural Risk Coverage and Price Loss Coverage. That's why we just shorted it to ARC PLC. This is for people that have base. They know who they are. They usually come in, sign up every year. We have been extended for one more year with this current farm bill, so they still have till March 15th to come in and sign up. We're very fast approaching it because yeah. we, we lost a couple months because we're waiting on the extension of the farm bill. We weren't able to start signing up till December 18th, which put us behind. So we're trying to catch up in a shorter window, which is already a short window in the first place. ERP, Emergency Relief Program 2022, right. those applications, what's going on with that? So uh, we have track one. Uh, most of the people that are going to be participating in track one should have gotten an application in the mail. If you didn't, it's going to be people that got crop insurance payments in 2022. Now, uh, like I said, most of the people should have got theirs. Most people have already gotten all their money. We have very little on our list as far as Jeff Davis is concerned uh, that have anything left to do. But by all means, they can call the office and see if they're on our list that we have, our registry. Uh, and then we have track two, which track two kind of goes back to our old ERP that we've had in the past. This is comparing 18 or 19 uh, tax income money to see if you're 22 if you made less in 22 than 18 or 19 whichever was the highest of those two okay all right so, well farm storage facility loans I know it's a lot right. to process but oh, the deadlines and everything that we have coming that's up why important. I definitely say call your local office yeah. have a sit down if you really want to know more uh, but as far as FSFLs which is farm storage facility loan uh, this is stuff for basically after the harvest. So if you're a hay producer, you need a hay barn to put all your hay in, we have a loan for that. If you need like the accumulators to pick up all the bales after they've been baled, it has to be after it's been processed. So you have, we have that. We have uh, hopper grain trucks there. You can get a loan for the truck, the trailer, or a truck and trailer combination. Uh, the coolers for crawfish, we have that. We have the conveyor belts. Like, if you can bring it to us and show that it works in your operation, we may be able to help you. All right. All that information, as Bo was That's talking right. about, can be found at farmers.gov. Farmers.gov. All right. And then call your local office off from farmers.gov. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Bo, thanks for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you very much. Of course, farmers.gov. We'll be right back.